Nothing but the truth. Nothing but the truth. White men have been fooling black men. <coughs> for a very long time. Yeah. Let's they get out of this place. The black man is like a flock of sheep without Yes, the black man is like sheep without a shepherd. Okay. A sheep without a shepherd. They scatter all over the place. Then they talk crazy thing about the white man. The white man this, the white man that. These guys can see that they're killing their own people. They kill a baby. They kill a woman. And they kill their man. Then you're calling the white man a blue eyed devil. Huh? Calling the white man a blue eyed devil. When you're killing their own people. A flock of sheep without a shepherd. And all of those that are trying to be a shepherd, they're just money hungry. You know, money hungry. They want to drive big fancy car, have their bling bling horn. And then they go around and kill their own babies. You could imagine? Women is killing their own babies that came out of their womb. They gotta be sick. And when the white men try to do this and do that, they call them blue eyed devils. If they're blue-eyed devils, we need to become blue-eyed devils too. Do the same shit they're doing. Building big ass road and trains and ships. High rise building. Listen, we need to do the same shit. Instead of messing around and calling them names. Without those people, maybe we'd be starving right now. They're the ones that own all the farms. I'm not talking a little tiny ass farm. I'm talking 200 million acres, 100 million acres. Did you see what these white men did? They go into Africa. South Africa and they take the land and they plant grains. They're not in no bullshit stuff. Because the black man was sitting there with the land doing nothing. He's sitting there with the gold doing nothing. He's sitting there with the diamond doing nothing. So the white man went in there and took all of that and they don't have the ability to fight the white men to take it all back all they are doing is talking shit I hate these people talking shit we've been talking about shit for the past 500 years. 
that does not benefit our people. We've been talking about the Pharaohs, the Ramsey, the Moses, and those shit don't benefit us. Them guys didn't do shit. What did they do? Did they have large farms? Did they have big hotels and motels? All they do they put some stone together and say they're building some bullshit. There is nothing in there for a black man. There's no magical power in there. There's no spiritual power. There is no strength of the universe. It's like a bunch of kids get together with their toys. And then we think it's something special. No, come on black man. It's time we'll wake up and stop talk bullshit. Time we wake up and stop talk stories. Me to take the land and plant grains like the white men, raise chicken, raise fowls, raise bird, whatever. Do just like them. Do just like them. I rise building, we need to build. We need to build trucks and cars. Just like them. What's wrong? We got two fucking hands. And we're not doing nothing with them. All we're doing is talking about Jesus and God and Satan and angels. And, and look, those things are not benefit our people. Because our people still killing their babies. And the white men still got you in bandage. And those things are not taking you out of bandage. The white man do anything he want to do with you. Whenever time he want. Wherever. Come on now. So why we are crying to something that we can't see. Some God that we cannot see. We've been crying to that God, as you call God, because you know the word God is a German word. And it's only been in existence for about 2,500 or 2,600 years. Or say 2,500 years that word came in existence. So it's not a it's not a whole word. It's a word that somebody made up. So you see what I'm saying? And once we learn the origin of word, we will stop going through all this bullshit. You know the white men put the English language together. And they put words where they want them to be. Yeah, so black people are going unconcerned like they don't, they don't know what the white man is doing. When the white men kill one of their people, then they rebel a little bit. That's what I'm talking about. They rebel against the white man. That is a devil. And we can't go on with this bullshit. I've been telling my people for a long time. The white man is not no devil. He just take care of his people. Look, I've been telling people this for the past, I would say 25 years. 
are 30 years and they do not listen. Elijah Muhammad been telling these people not to eat pork for the past, what, 60, 70 years? And they're still doing the same shit, eating pork. So they're not going to listen to you when you tell them anything. They, they think you're trying to mess up your life by telling them something that can edify their physical body or their spiritual mind. They're not going for that. They want to drink the white man alcohol, smoke his narcotics, and talk bad about him. That's all they want to do. And, and those that is doing church, them preachers, forget about them. Those forget about them. They are the worst one. Why am I saying this? The man I call my dad, he owned three churches. And some of the members that gave him donation, these people don't have a home for themselves. These people are so poor and they will bring their little pennies and give to him and he will use those pennies to buy homes in the city and rent them out. These people doesn't know that. Because he's a secretive preacher. You know what is a secretive preacher? They do sodomy hack. And they do sexual hack with the members of the church, the female. Plus they mess with the young boys. So they are a bunch of sick head people. Like the Catholic priests. There are a bunch of sick head people. And you can't tell these people nothing. No matter what you say. Can't tell them anything. They think you're speaking bad. <coughs> when you speak to them, they think you're speaking bad. Because they don't want to hear that. And they don't know the truth defend itself. When you're telling someone the truth, if they have any common sense, they do not fight against you. Because you're not telling them anything that is wrong. You're telling them the truth. But most times, they're ignorant of the facts that they don't hear that because you're speaking bad so what I'm saying to my people I don't know what's going to happen to them because they're scattered sheep scattered sheep And I don't know why we scatter all over like that. And no one is not trying to gather us up together. Yes. Nobody is not trying to gather us up. The people that sell us are not trying to gather us up. You know the white man didn't sell the black man. The African black man sell the black man. But they keep it secretly. 
don't just think the white men leave their country and just go up into Africa and just start catch black people and selling them. <coughs> don't think they just start catching them and selling them. So I'm saying the black man is scattered like the sheep. No flags. So I don't know what's going to happen. The children, they are so messed up. The children are so messed up, you wouldn't even believe it. And the parents can't see that the children is messed up. Because nobody's not telling them anything. No father is there to tell them anything. Yeah, they are in all type of narcotics. And um, but I think they're gonna return back to the slavery days. White men will not buy them anymore. He's just pick what he want from the scattered sheep. Because there will not be a herd. They will be scattered all over. So he can just pick what he want. put them on his ranch and he can do what he want to do experiment with them it's been going on right now and some old people doesn't know once we leave this Christianity stuff leave this church alone I think we would be better off if we could just cope and leave this church alone because what they are doing is contaminating your mind contaminating your mind so you cannot understand where you are going if you're going or coming so you're still in that dilemma of back and forth as I say the sheep doesn't have a shepherd because they scatter and there is no shepherd to gather them have the shepherd that is out there are money shepherd they're seeking after money and once you're seeking after money, that's all going to be in the mind of the shepherd. And he will do anything for that money. Trust me. If you don't believe me, go here and offer them shepherd two, three million dollars for doing filthy stuff and see what they do. That will not turn that money down. Hell no. Because they are money hungry. You got to remember black people did not have money. And if black people didn't have money. They still hungry for money. Only one and two black people have money many years gone. Like my grandfather. He got a buggy card. And you know you have a buggy? In those days you're rich. If you got a buggy and 50 acres of land and you got a wooden house built on that property and you have six, seven kids that you raised, you got money. 
but if you if you don't have that land in those days you're messed up you know what I'm saying you'll be messed up but by you have 100 acre land and you got money we're not talking money in the bank now we're talking land and you do your own farming and raise your own cattle that's what I'm talking about I'm getting off the freeway now so anyway that's how it is in those days so my grandfather have money and he leave that money with his children and those children did not leave any money with his grandchildren they all fight over it and mess it all up but the land remain so I can take part of the land or participate and do what I want to do on the land and that's how it is in those days so these hungry preacher that want money they will do anything for money you know these guys have all these church and they get all these donation they should be helping the members of that church every week somebody should be in business yes every week somebody should be in business you got a church with 20 million people in there just check it out 20 million people that's a lot of people or you got a church with 10 million and they all bring donation that donation should be helping the people so everybody have a business so all those members could be well off more than just taking out the money buying jet plane buying Rolls Royce Mercedes Benz what type of bullshit is that they should be doing better than what they're doing right now so they could have the money to help the people but they're not doing that they're just bullshitting buy big home fancy home expensive suit nice car and they mess with prostitute yes they mess with prostitute sometimes they smoke narcotics too what type of shit is that and they are the man of God huh they're the man of God and they're doing bullshit that doesn't make no sense that doesn't make no sense they're the man of God you can't be the man of God and then you are doing all these homosexual business <coughs> you're doing the lesbian business you're not no man of God no 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 you are the man of Satan and by Satan working in your way the members think you are God man they, can't, they don't know that so guess what that's what taking place and when the people realize that they are gonna move out of those church they are going to move out and they're going to stay home and they're going to say whoo they've been fooling me for all these years all these years they've been fooling me so guess what I'm going to stay home with my children and I'm going to take care of my kids but they already grows up they already grows up so you can't take care of them anymore because you did not have any knowledge to give to them and that's what's happened you did not have any knowledge to give to them so they grows up with some dumb ideas no knowledge So they're going to leave no knowledge to their children because they don't have any knowledge to leave 
with their children. So their children, children is going to be the same. Not going to have no knowledge to give to their children. Common sense? Huh. Don't talk about common sense. They ain't going to have shit common sense. They ain't going to have no common sense. Because the white man is doing all the help right now. No matter where you go, black man is not doing any help to the black people. The white man is sending food to Africa, sending food to the Caribbean, sending food to all over the place. I don't see no black men sending food no place. No. They don't have any food to send no place. So they can't send no food. And in the meantime, they're calling the white men blue eyed devils. In the, that's what that's what messing my, my thought up. They're calling the white men blue eyed devil. Huh? calling the white man blue-eyed devil when they're messing up everything. I don't understand. Do you know the, where the riches of this United States is in the black people, in the black race? It's in the church and the convalescent homes. Look, government give give fun to all these a lot of these church so they can donate they can donate these funds to members the church have food that they get from the government also clothing but it's secretly kept It's just like the public access TV. It's secretly kept. Nobody know. They don't advertise it. So for you to join up with public access, you got to find a way out. And that's all these people do, do their stuff. Yes, that's how they do it. So anyway, all I'm saying, black men need to wake up. And if he don't wake up, he gonna have a sudden destruction. Sooner or later, regardless. Sooner or later, he gonna have a sudden de destruction. Peace, I'm out of here. <laughs>